Today I'm briefly going to demonstrate the performance of the Silicon Graphics O2 machine running with a MIPS R12000 CPU at 400 MHz with 512 megabytes of system memory installed. I'm going to log into IRIX. I already have an instance of IVView as well as an instance of PowerFlip running. It's going to wait for IVView to load properly. And I'm going to set the option for high quality transparency and rotate the model. For power flip, I'm quickly going to display performance. And you can see we're getting between 50 and 55 frames a second currently. I'm going to set up the lighting with local light sources. So red local, green local, yellow local as well as white local and I'm going to disable the infinite white okay I'm now going to open up another instance of PowerFlip and I'll run that in a standard mode I'll place this over here and I'll also open up an instance of Ideas in Motion and place that over here. And as you can see from the gross overview, the system's process is currently stressed to the maximum. The interesting thing to note, however, is the memory usage. It only has 512 megabytes of RAM installed currently, and it's using a fraction of that. I'm now going to open up an instance of Distort. See how the machine performs. Okay, so with all those other windows running, I'll get Ideas in Motion going as well. Distort seems to be running pretty well. Okay, and with these windows running, you're still getting around about 30 frames a second from PowerFlip with local lighting set up. It's really going to take a look at the other instance, set that performance. And you're around about 30 to 40 frames a second on that instance as well. I'm now quickly going to load the machine to the max by running an instance of Doom. There's that towards the bottom. And if you think about the vintage of this machine, I'd say that this is pretty remarkable performance. It's only running a single MIPS R12000 CPU and you're able to open up quite a few instances simultaneously and the machine deals with them pretty well. Okay, I want you to now take a look at IVView. I'm now going to close these windows in succession. And I just want you to notice how IVView's performance increases as I do so. Okay, I'm now going to open up the window, make it quite large. And if you have to think of the vintage of this machine, back in the 90s, if I consider the types of computer game I was playing back in those days, 3D rendering such as this would have been unthinkable at that point. And this just clearly demonstrates the power of this machine and how powerful this machine would have been back in the day when it was current. Okay, I'm now quickly going to give you or show you the hardware inventory for the machine just to show you what the machine has installed currently. Okay, the machine is fitted with a MIPS R12000 CPU with a MIPS 12010 floating point chip and it's running at 401 MHz and it has 512 megabytes of system memory installed. The machine also has the dual channel display option fitted but I'm not making use of that facility at the moment. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that it gave you some sort of ideas to what performance you can expect from one of these machines. So if you're looking at running a Silicon Graphics O2 with a MIPS R12000 chip running at 400 megahertz, this is the sort of performance you can expect from such a machine.